I went to the uh, makeup workshop that was at the Jacksonville Film Festival because I lately I've been starting to get into wanting to do a little bit of makeup. And then he's fighting off zombies as he's doing his Andy Rooney piece. <laughs> so, uh, so this guy comes in and tries to attack him. Close one. So if you just kind of stipple, now it's the, the really gross greens. As a makeup artist for film and television is aging and beard work. If you feel it, if you've got that fire in your belly to do it, then you do it. You somehow you make your way through it. Well, she talked about continuity and the fact that you got to really protect yourself because the director might want something that's not going to be um, continuity wise and if so you have to go to your script edit supervisor tell them that you do not approve of it so that when the editor has it he doesn't come back yelling at you uh, that was something I never thought about the person that's always in charge of continuity over everything is the script supervisor I use it on Jimmy, I'm Jimmy Fallon's makeup artist, and I use that on him every day. She was um, Jimmy Fallon's um, personal makeup artist. That just surprised me at no end. I want it to be a little spotty. If you get your foot in, and you do what you have to do, and they really start liking you, then that just what, you know, they'll just, they'll pick you up. And then they'll tell their friends, and they'll tell their friends, and so you have to make sure that the first person that you get, you do, you know, you just do a great job on. At the end of the day, you want to keep everything professional. Granted, you, you develop really close relationships, but uh, you want to keep in mind that you, you want to produce good work. And I honestly be believe that having been at Jacksonville helped me, because I wouldn't have been able to do that in New York and survive at the same time.